All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Armored Warfare. Now, let's take a quick look here. We're going to be looking at the XM800T ARSV. We're really not looking at the vehicle. Let me clear my screen a little bit for you. We're not really looking at the vehicle. What we're actually looking at is how this ve how you play an IFV. And I need to change something out because I remembered that I had this thing configured wrong with my retrofits. Now, I'm gonna lose the cash on this retrofit, or some of it at least, but I'm gonna put in, uh, hmm. intercoms or optics? Let's throw intercoms in there. This gives me sort of an across the board boost to this vehicle, which I need. Okay, so, this vehicle. Let us get back into the garage mode and let's take a quick look at its stats as equipped. My view range is 480 meters, which is pretty good. My camouflage is 0.385, which is also pretty good. My camp 0.385 is, well, it's not terrible. Cannon, minus 15 in the front, minus 8 to the rear. Accuracy spread, aim time, turret traverse. I have turret traverse boosted up right now because I have the augmented drivetrain in this thing, which gives me better, a bit better max speed and better turret traverse speed by 10%. My alpha is terrible. My sustained damage, however, is very high. And you can see this with my AP rounds, with my HE rounds, it's... A little less good, but I'll probably be actually running HE mostly. Um, this is actually not straight up HE, this is HEI. Okay? So it has a better chance of causing a fire if it hits an enemy vehicle's engine. Not bad. Not bad at all. More damage than my uh, APDS, and if I can get penetrating hits, it's going to do a pretty decent amount of damage. Okay, so uh, military aluminum, which means I actually take a penalty to uh, my hull ratings. And you can see here, I can also skill up my crew members. Okay. You are my driver. All right. And what we're going to actually do is we're going to go with off-road driving. All right. And you, Blanka Grabowska, are my loader. And we're going to give you... Rapid fire explosive shells. That's a good question. Um, I'm always a sucker for rapid fire on these on these things. So let's go with rapid fire there. All right, should be all set, and we can retrain them if we need to. I'd rather not, honestly, but we can. All right, so let's take you into a PVP match, shall we? PVE, excuse me. So <clears throat> I am a scout. All right. I am a scout and a support vehicle. I am also deadly dangerous against self-propelled guns and tank destroyers who have light armor that I can routinely punch through. All right. I am low tier in this match and there are a bunch of scouts, so I'm not going to get that much scouting XP. The matchmaker does this. It just likes to chuck everyone into the same. It's like, oh, hey, I'm going to build an entire team out of tank destroyers and IFVs. Oh, and this map. This is like the worst map to have this on. Uh, as you can see, my view range is like the entire map. <laughs> All right. This is this is literally like the worst map, I think, to have this sort of a team layout. And in fact, I'm going to say that to my team. I think this is the worst map to have this team composition on. Um, this is a defense the point map. Alright. So so what I'm going to do is... I'm, yeah, alright, I already screwed up. Hey, 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 hey,
We are now going to get the hell out of Dodge. From what I said that I think this is the worst map to have this team composition on. Yep. Alright, I'm going to have to do burn my repair already. Now, oh, hell. I tried to mark him there, but no effect. Loader, will he be? Target hit. Might hit him. Direct hit. Good hit. Down. Next target's identified. Loader, Willie oh, you're a little close. Alright, so they already kind of chewed me up a bit here. Alright, we took out the starship. The That's nice. We need to clear the area around the main offices next. <sighs> Alright. Lions at the weapon checkpoint. Keep them away from here. I'll be perfectly honest. This is the tank I have the m type of tank I have the most trouble playing. Oh, hello. Oh, this is a bad time to go out of ammo. Okay, so I pinned him on an HE shot, which was good. We'll get into some camouflage here. Hey, we found some Artie. Who's gonna die before I can get there? That's fine. I am now hiding behind a bush. Um, I should go find that secondary. Alright, so we got some more tanks which just spawned in. Tank storage doing their thing. I don't really have the range here, but... Yep, alright. Oh, hello. I got the kill, but took some damage, which is not what I wanted to have happen there. One more to go. Alright, so I got some damage on, which was nice. And I actually managed to mark him. So by marking him, what I'm basically doing... We're loading up the tank up now, so keep them off of and I don't know why my games decided to slow down again. Enemy tank spotted to the east. East? Oh, that is east. Huh.
All right, so we got hostiles moving in from up here. I'm not going to rate too well on this map, but you guys probably giving you enough detail just to get the point of how you're supposed to Identify. warn these things. All right, so we got fire going by us right now. That killed him. Killed him. We're going to kind of slip up here. Good hit. Good hit destroyed. I took him out. I'm redeeming myself a little bit. They have that covered, I think. That Sheridan's toast. Alright, we're probably letting people spawn in over here, so let's get back over there, because if they're not over here, then they'll be on that side of the map. <clears throat> let's go, 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 go. The problem with this map is it doesn't offer very many clear sight lines. We are now concealed. Okay, really? You're spawning more in over there? I'm not going to even bother. That AMX is going to kill him before I even get there. All right, there we go. We are go. So that was not a great match in IFA. That, that, I got damaged early on because I was stupid and got greedy. And also, it's hard to actually do scouting when there are three scouts and two tank destroyers there who are all trying to scout. So, and on a map that small where your view radius is the entire map. Now, the downside to that map, too, is that there are a lot of constricted sight lines, a lot of places you can't really see around. But you guys got to see the marking system. As I explained earlier, what marking does is it guarantees that anyone who hits that tank while it's marked always does its max damage if he penetrates. Always. All right. So marking a target's good, and you get bonus damage for marking a target. You get bonus XP for allies who do damage to a marked target. So you can see I didn't do that well. Um, six, eight. Yeah, I'm actually, well, middle of the tier. That's interesting. Uh, damage resulting from designation, two, that gave me a bit extra. Damage from spots. I actually didn't do badly for spotting, did I? No, I spotted more than anyone else. Ah! Cool. That's, uh... Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Dang. Um, three primaries, mission complete, mass participation, and we got a decent bonus from our secondary objective as well. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Alright, so, and I don't know why I'm getting a times three multiplier today, but apparently I am. And I have my boost going on, so that worked out pretty well, too. Boost's active. Wait a second. Is that just my... Yeah, that just must be my, um... Premium bonus. So let's turn that on, too. So I get... Extra bonuses! Huzzah! So let's take this thing into another match, because I'm almost maxed out on it, actually. Um, in fact, I could just use my, my extra, my free XP there, my global rep, excuse me, to complete the map, but match, but I won't. Alright, looks like we're going to have another AFV heavy day. Great. Of course, they could be in other tiers, but I'm willing to guarantee they're probably all in my tier. I, that's just the way my luck works. They're probably all in my tier. Yep. No! Well, there's the Sheridan, but he's a light tank. He's not a... Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is pretty decent. That AMX 
It was probably going to kill everything, but that's fine. We can still slip ahead. Uh, phalanx. Okay, we just did phalanx. All right, I did phalanx in my last video. So that's good. All right, so we can we can dash ahead. I'll probably try and get up on that mountain range somewhere. And uh, try and get some spots in, I think. I could try and zip across the bridge. Um, I've never done that before. And my inner tanker is telling me that that's a terrible idea. Because the bridge is going to restrict my movement unless the river's frozen. If the river's frozen, I can zip across there and not worry about it. Um, I'm kind of tempted to just zip across that river, to be honest with you. Vote Sabo, Black Company. This refinery Vote is a valuable WP. strategic asset. The lions of Nequil want to blow it up to send a message yeah. to the locals. Stay alert. Tempting. Identify target. Also, and they've spotted me, so I'm going to back the hell off of that. So now I'm going to flash across here. Hello, goodbye. Good Direct hit. Voter, Willie P. Hey, I got a kill. Red light, wind here to check the supply vehicles containing weapons. Nope. For the lions of Nequiel are in the area. Neutralize them en route to the refinery. Good hit. Enemy destroyed. You'll notice that nope moment that I had there. Hey, we found the uh, enemy artillery. This is my other job, by the way. This is dumb. Target hit. Threat destroyed. Not as dumb as it could have been. Target hit. Voter, WP. Red leg, requesting fire. Nail them. Alright, so we've lost contact with them, so this is my opportunity to move up. Identify. Hostile. Tag. Direct hit. Target eliminated. Vote WP. Direct hit. We'll take out this guy. Target hit. Enemy destroyed. Target hit. Voter Willie P. In my reload cycle now, so we'll go back to that. <clears throat> Looks like our Sheridan down south is having a fun time. Identify. Hostile. Tag. Penetrated. Nope. That river is not frozen.
I want to fight a decently high up point. Got good view range. Good. That's the last truck. Identify. Hostile. Tag. Direct hit. I wanted that guy pretty badly. I have an outstanding mission to take out uh, enemy TDs. Where's the bird? Move! Not for long. I don't think I'll get close in time to. Oh! Tag. Look at that. All right, that went pretty well. Direct I'm looking at my map, going M41. I don't think I killed an M41. Huh? Now this thing does not have the speed. Yeah, this AMX 10 pack. I did not get the kill on him, but that's okay. Come on. No, he's not going to be alive for long enough, really. There we go. That's it. So that is how you play an IMV. All right. Much better run with that IMV. That time. Much, much better run. We do what we're supposed to do. We knock down targets. We spotted. We marked some targets for our team. Um... Not as effectively as we could have. Again, it, that play, I just couldn't find a nice place to set up on. Um, and high. So I ended up playing a bit more offensively than typical. But it still worked out pretty darned well. At least I thought it did. That's the idea with the tank story. Though. With the IFV, though. You get in there. You take them out. You run around them. I didn't do much flanking that match. Uh... I didn't want to get far enough ahead of the of my team to flank. But I think I did a pretty good job personally. Alright, so let's look at team stats. I didn't do as well. Oh wow, I did close though. I was up there. Same number of kills, fewer assists, a little less damage, but I had more spots. So that's not bad. That is not bad at all. And and finally I got that other mission out of the way. But I still have uh, light tank culling to do. But this means that I've now unlocked the swing fire. All right. Um, bit of detail on the swing fire. I'm going to purchase it. The swing fire. Which heaven knows where it went. I need to actually sort and organize this crap at some point. The swing fire. Where is the swing fire? There it is. So the swing fire is a bit of an interesting tank because it doesn't have a gun. Um, it's a British IFV, and it only has these two tow missile launchers on it. So probably in the next episode, we'll take a look at the swing fire or a more detailed look at the M60A3. Either way, though, it is an interesting tank. All right, if we look at the upgrades... I can unlock a firepower retrofit and another firepower retrofit. whoop de doo But not really much else. Um, I got this recon pack, which is great. And then I get this stuff, including Juan Carlos Miramon and the enhanced sight interface, Mark II. But, you know, these firepower retrofits, it's like, yeah, it's great, but this is... This is... Uh, 
that would be great on a tank vehicle. I mean, if I got the Fox, oh, that would be awesome. You know, the Fox would be great. And that's the tank I'm working towards, is the Fox. But I'm going to have to chew my way through this swing fire first. And that's going to be difficult. All right. That's going to be very difficult for me to do. Because I know for a fact that I need 64,000 experience on this tank. So it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. And these just boost my acceleration. Um, yeah, there aren't a lot of upgrades to do. You just have to buckle down and get involved with it. So we'll take a look at that in the next episode. All right, guys, this has been Mr. Kasarian. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed recording it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this episode, tell me what you liked or what you didn't like. I hope that I helped you. I hope you now know what your role as an IFV is supposed to be. You are a scout. And you are hell on wheels for tank destroyers and artillery if you can get into the range of them. If you can get behind a tank, you can deal some damage. Spot. I see a lot of IFVs and very, 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 very few of them use their target tagging ability. Trust me, as an MBT player, if I see a target tag go out, that guy just got a 105mm round for my gun. Alright? If I see that target tag, I am putting a 105mm shell downrange at that target because I know... But if I pen, I'm going to deal my maximum damage. All right. Same thing with my tank destroyer. Um, hopefully at some point in the nearby future, I can get my friend Battlemind Jace online. He likes the IFVs much more than I do, actually. And we can kind of show you how a heavy tank and a tank destroyer or a tank destroyer can work with an IFV. I'll be in the heavier the tank destroyer. I'll be in the IFV. Heavy tank. MBT. How an MBT or tank destroyer can work with an IFV. Again, thank you for watching. If you liked the episode, give me a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the episode, please tell me below in the comment section what I can do better. Here's some eye candy for you. And I think we'll end the episode on that note.